in order to fix these problems that we have with both deviation from normality as well as heterogeneity of variance, we can try taking a log transformation, which seems to be good for things that are skewed to the right. I'm going to do the log transformation and add it as a column to the ERG data frame. After I run that line, if we go back and look at the ERG data frame, we see here is the additional column with the log transform data. It's called log. So I will now run the model again, only instead of using the res voltage response, I'm going to use the log and then graph what the residuals look like as a histogram. The residuals look much more normally distributed than they did before. And we see this with the Shapiro test, which now produces a non-significant value. So we seem to be pretty good on normality now. Just for fun, I'm going to plot those residuals against their color. And if I do that, I see that the uh, distributions are much more similar. The variance of the red is quite similar to blue and green. I can see this also if I pass the model into the plot function itself and click here. I see basically the same thing. Here's red again, blue and green. Now the distribution of the points is, is uh, much similar in its spread. There aren't any hugely bad outliers, so that's another good thing to notice. I will look at the normal quantile plot. The points are now much closer to falling on the straight line. And we'll just go through the other two plots, which we don't really care that much about. I will try running the Bartless test again. It's not 10 to the minus 9 or whatever it was before. Let's see, what was it? Yeah, 10 to the minus 9. It's much higher, but it still is quite a bit below 0.05. However, if I run the Levine's test and Brown Forsyth test, I get 0.035 for the Levine test and 0.04 for the Brown Forsyth test. So both of these are significantly different from homogeneous in the variance. However, as you may recall, the ANOVA is fairly robust to small deviations from homogeneity of variance if the sample size are the same. This is a balanced experiment. There are the same number of red, green, and blue trials. So given how close this is to 0.05, I think I'm going to go ahead and say that it's valid to run the ANOVA. So I will run the ANOVA and we can take a look at how the ANOVA table has turned out. So here's the sum of squares, degrees of freedom, the F value. The thing that I'm most concerned about is the P value and it's 10 to the minus 10. So there are hugely significant differences among the responses between the red, green, and blue levels of the experiment. 